Welcome to Physics World. Every day in the morning, you hear so many sounds. Some sounds are pleasant to you. Some sounds are noiseful to you. But anyway, even the pleasant or noise, you are hearing the sound. And you produce sound also. While you speak, while you talk to a person, while you move a uh, what, do you, what do you say that a heavy body on the surface because of friction. If you take a chalk piece and if you write something on the board with a chalk piece, it will produce sound. When you switch on the audio player, it will produce sound. TV produce sound. So, sound is everywhere. So, you have to learn how to listen to sound, how to control the sound. First point. Second thing, how do we communicate with each other? You may know, you may have heard or you may learn in English classes about two types of communication, verbal communication and non-verbal communication. And the difference is verbal means by speaking, unwritten communication, oral communication, how, uh, how at present how I am communicating to you. Non-verbal without talking, written. By, write, by writing, by using some signs, some symbols, if you communicate to other person, it's called non-verbal communication. But 80% all we do verbal communication only means we speak and we talk and there we produce sound. Now here it is very very important that what is the physics behind sound? How can we produce different types of sounds? How can we control the sound? And how the human being, how we are producing sound? Do you have any, uh, any other machine inside which is producing sound to us? Or do you have any other machine in your body which takes the sound and makes to us to understand? So all these things we need to understand. So that's why, so today's chapter is sound. So if you see, if you go to the open theatres, you can see a big loudspeaker. And it produces a very large sound. So that wherever you are there in 360 degrees, you can hear the sound. Similarly, using mics, when you speak, it produces sound. At present, I am using caller mic. It also producing sound. And you are hear, hearing to me. So all these examples tells you that sound we are producing. And the question comes that what is sound? Sound is an energy content. Yes, it's energy content. How the kinetic energy is energy, how the potential energy is energy, solar energy is energy, sound is also an energy, just like light is an energy. When you speak something at one point and the sound is traveled to some distance, say you started speaking here. Okay, you started speaking and the sound, sound travels, travels to a point B where there is a person who is receiving the sound. So generally, if you want to draw a diagram, we draw the diagram like this. The sound is going from one, direct, one point to the other point in this direction. What is symbols called, this semicircles are called, it is called waveform wave form. Initially, I have informed you that sound is an energy. It is an energy. Now I am saying that sound is a wave form. What is this? I mean sound is energy as well as wave? Yes, you are correct. Sound is energy and sound is wave. How? See, I will tell you how it is possible. Scientists wanted to explain to the all people that how the sound looks. Because you can't see the sound. You can just experience the sound. They understand that with the sound, you can break a glass. With the sound, you can move a body. How it is possible? A sound can break a glass? A sound can move a body? It is only possible if the sound has energy. And many examples in the movies, 
in your TV channels, you have seen that the sound is breaking the glass. And that simple example tells you that sound is energy content. So sound is energy. Now the question comes, how do you show that energy on the board? How do you show that, how do you experience that energy? So that's why scientists made a pictorial representation. And that pictorial representation of energy is called wave. Waveform. So wave is the pictorial representation of energy. So it is pictorial, it means picture. Pictorial representation of energy. So you understand. So sound is wave because a pictorial representation of energy. But what wave we can use? In mathematics, we have so many types of waves. But based on the changes in the energy, the physicists understood that wave is, is in sinusoidal form. Sinusoidal form. Sinusoidal form means it is either this way, this way or it is in this way. If you see both waves look same but the starting is different. Here the wave started the origin O. Here the wave doesn't start at the origin, it starts at some fixed value. So either the way you can, you can show the pictorial representation of energy which is you can show the sound. So how can we show? Now we are going to discuss. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.